Hey, this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today we're going to be talking about how to bleed a fish. This uh, this too late for this one. You need to do this you know, right before you, you put it on ice, right, while it's still alive. And the reason why bleeding fish is important is it just gets the blood out of the meat. It is the, the way to make the meat as good as possible. And so I'll show you here on this, on this, uh, this dead mackerel, but then we have uh, some other fish that we went out. We had a, a smorgasbord day today. So we have a bluefish, a flounder, and a mangrove snapper. And we're going to show you how to do it on live, live specimens next. But first, let's go ahead and show on the mackerel just so we can go slowly and show the mechanics. All right, so bleeding fish, you just need two things. Super simple, you need a knife, and then you need some ice, right? You have to put the fish on some ice and, uh, and just give it time to bleed out. And so what all, all species have this, and it's a big artery that goes basically, obviously you can cut their gills, but they also generally have a big artery right down there, right in between the gills, like right, right in there. So the key is just to get a knife in and just go in and just cut through it. You can cut through that, you can see that, that, that alone, even though this fish is dead, that did get a, a good, pretty good amount of blood out. And then as soon as you do that, put them on ice. Simple as that. And so now we're going to do that with those other species and, uh, and just see how you do it for each one. All right, so now we have a bluefish, right, and same premise. We just want to get in there and make a slice real quick. I'll do it right above, right, it's going to freak out a little bit. There we are. So that, that's bleeding, so that meat is going to be as white as possible when we uh, when we clean the fish. It makes a really big difference, especially with the bluefish. They're, they're known to be kind of an oily fish, and doing that is going to make that meat be really good. All right, so now we have our flounder. Delicious, delicious meat. This meat is white without bleeding it, and when you actually do bleed a flounder, I mean, this meat is like bright white. It is, it is delicious stuff. And again, we're going to do the same premise. We're going to go in. This is a little bit tougher. They're super thin. We're gonna go in there and see if we can get that. And you know you got it when you can see a, a good amount of blood going. Looks like we missed it on that one. Let me make sure my hand's out of the way. Yeah, just make sure your hand's out of the way, obviously. We're gonna go up a little bit higher. Let's get this guy going. All right, there we are. So we just cut that one. Again, you have the blood on the, on the knife, that means you got it. All right, so now we have the mangrove snapper. You just get it, just get, hold it snugly, right? They're pretty, pretty strong fish. We just get in there, go through a gill, and then cut right through that, that vein, and that should get a lot of blood going. You see that blood's coming out? We'll dip it down and uh, then put it on ice, and that is going to be some delicious, delicious meat. That's the, again, that's the way to preserve. First of all, you're killing the fish humanely, right? Cut that bloodline, get them right on ice immediately. And then, uh, and that way they're gonna they're gonna bleed out. They're gonna die quickly, and uh, and this meat is gonna be as good as possible. So anyhow, that's at least a trick I've learned. I've been using it for a while. I believe it does make a big difference. If you know anything else that can make it better, please share. Love to hear your feedback. Leave a comment down below. We're here to help and spread spread any sort of uh, helpful tip. So thank you so much for your time and watching. We're gonna go uh, go ahead and clean these fish. And and as far as catching these fish, right? We just went out and had a blast this morning. We just use our Slam Shady paddle tail. We caught 11 species before 11 a.m. and had an absolute blast. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and start cleaning these puppies and put these on the grill tonight to do a taste test comparison. So details on that coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a